And that's the build up to tomorrow's budget presentation on the floor of parliament by the finance minister, Ken Oforiata. Lots of expectations there this time around. An economist, Dr. Lord Mensah, says he expects to see a budget which will check unnecessary risks and aggressive projections. He wants government to assess all investments and what have been accrued over the years. And he spoke with my colleague, George Queenie. The finance minister, Ken Oforiata, is expected in parliament to present the 2020 budget statement and financial policy of government on November 13. Ahead of the budget presentation, an economist, Dr. Lord Mensah, expects to see a more conserved budget. If you are conserved, then you are more or less cutting your coat according to your size. So you don't assume unnecessary risk. You don't project aggressively, right, so that... Um, it puts you into a situation where you would like to finance your deficit with debt, and that might come at a cost to the state. He faulted government for consistently creating deficits, which are mostly financed by debts and other security issues. Moving forward, he entreated government to assess the investments made so far and what have been accrued. If you ask me how, apart from the fiscal council, and apart from the, the cap on the, what do you call it, our budget deficit, how do we prudently you know, uh, manage our finances, I would tell you that we have to put ourselves in the, in the financial management of this country. When you put yourself in the financial management, you see the country as yours. And if you see Ghana as your business and you are managing Ghana, obviously you'll be careful as to how you expose the country in terms of risk. So we should put ourselves in there because every you know, business person would like to have his business flourish. So if you if you manage in Ghana, I mean, why don't you like to? Why wouldn't you like to see Ghana flourishing? He tasked government to use funds from the eurobond market for capital-intensive projects that can be self-financing. 